He's already laughing. My God, the show's just started. And he's laughing oh, for good reason. This man can't lose in Major League Baseball. 2-0 again last night for Zinno with his for his clients. He's now, what, 23-8 and eight this month? Am, am I keeping track of your record properly? Yes, yes. We laid the one and a half like real men do. Uh, not not all of us have, uh, you know, uh, parts that oh, only allow us to pay minus one. So uh, we laid one and a half last night with Kansas City. Oh, look, it's children's books. Yay. Uh, and then, of course, Seattle, first five under was easy peasy cash. So another 2-0 and night here tonight, Brian Power. Very, very, very happy. Yes, yeah, there, there's minus one. Uh, stop it. All right. Now, uh, yeah, I told you my best bet yesterday. There, Oh, there's another picture. I told you my best bet. Real men lay one and a half. Well, yes, stop it with that. We, we, let's all be yes, friends here. Especially with home teams, okay? Oh, yeah. I don't need oh, oh, there we go. Uh, now you're pot shotting me already. Could, could I please talk that I, I had a nice winner yesterday? I promised it would be easier than Sunday's comeback on Texas, and it was a no sweat 4% best bet on the Oakland A's. Our show best bet is coming up in just a little bit, but we're going to start with a double play. Uh, our double play yesterday, I had a nice win. You had a push. You're up first, uh, and you're taking a look. At the Reds, our, our favorite, the Cincinnati Reds, huh? who got a win last night because, of course, they did when no one was expecting it as underdogs. They're north of the border this uh, to start the week in Toronto. You think it's time to fade the Reds, though, today? Yeah, you know, a lot of this is about the pitching matchup here. Um, Jose Barrios, don't call me Barrios, uh, numbers at home this year, very good, 283 ERA. Opposing hitters batting just 218 against him. He's made 12 home starts. Blue Jays are 8-2. and two. With him on the mound at home, or he's eight and two rather. Um, he's only given up eight home runs compared to nineteen on the road. So clearly, he's been a much better, much different pitcher at home. Going up against Carson Spires, uh, Carson Spires of the Reds. Guess what? He's uh, on the road. Guess what his numbers are? Bad. Six point three zero ERA. Um, just one and two in four starts there. Opposing hitters batting two forty four against him. Just hasn't had really had a good run. Uh, away from the great American ballpark here. And I tell you what here, BP, just because um, the Toronto Blue Jays bullpen is an absolute dumpster fire that couldn't get through immigration, uh, they're terrible in both Canada and America. Uh, we're not going to involve them here. We're going to do first five. And I'm only, I'm going to take the first five money line here. Why? Because mm. the Toronto Blue Jays, Toronto Blue Jays and my ex-wife have three things in common. They cost me money, oh, they're no. untrustworthy, and they don't put out enough. <laughs> So oh, no. that means oh, no. we're going to take the money line here because <laughs> there's still a chance that Toronto won't score even off Carson Spires. So I'll lay the little extra juice here uh, with the first five money line and take the Blue Jays as my half double play. All right. Comment down below. Smash that like button if you're rolling with Zinno. Let us know you, wife, it's really okay too. Yes, yes. Talk about what you talk about what your wife do, does or doesn't do. Um, I am going to talk. By the way, I'm going to address the comments section in just a little bit here. Uh, but let me do my half of the double play first. Uh, my half of the double play yesterday was the over on Twins Padres. Uh, it looked like a surefire winner with seven runs in the first three innings, and then we got the much needed eighth run in the top of the ninth. Uh, but my first five play, I'm doing a first five too, Zeno, but I am laying the half run. Hopefully, I am manly enough for you. Uh, the Royals are playing the Angels today. Uh, you're going to have to lay around minus 145 to lay the half run here, but I think it's worth the investment because Cole Reagans is on the mound for the Royals. He is the one Royals starter I really like. He's won three straight starts, five of his last six, fifth in MLB in strikeouts, 17 quality starts this year. So, you know, he's good for uh, – Six or more innings more often than not. He's going against an Angels lineup. Mark that. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? What's what's a good word to describe the Angels lineup? Uh, uh, what's a good word? How, I was thinking ass, but trash. There That's you go. Uh, it, it, uh, they have scored fewer than four runs in seven straight games, and they have lost six of them. You laid the one and a half yesterday. It was a 5-3 final in favor of the Royals. Now let's talk about the Angels starter, shall we? Uh, as most of you know, Tyler Anderson, uh, I don't really like him. Uh, I'm sure he's a decent person, but uh, his expected ERA is 4.13. He's been a massive overachiever, and we've seen some of that expected regression set in of late, Mark. He's lost three of his previous four starts. I think it continues here. What does Kansas City do better at home than on the road? Hit. They also strike out a lot less at Kauffman Stadium. They walk a lot more at home. Much different lineup at home than on the road. And we've got to talk. I know you get very upset. You didn't let me talk about it yesterday, Mark, but we are going to talk about run differential on the program today. 
Kansas City this year, plus 111. That's second best in all of baseball behind only the Yankees. They've won five straight, only two and a half behind Cleveland in the AL Central. I think the Royals are live to win this division, Mark Sino. I think they're going to win by a lot tonight, and I think they will certainly be ahead after the first five innings against Anderson, the Angels. So give me Royals' first five on the run line for my half of the double play to go along with your Blue Jays' first five money line bet. Speaking of bets, I believe you have a big one coming up at wagertalk.com today. Yeah, guys, 5% Patty Johnson nuke banger tonight. Um, really like this look here. Uh, we're again 23 and 8 this month in baseball. Number one at Wager Talk in the month of August in units, in ROI, and winning percentage, even though baseball is not a winning percentage sport. Uh, in my, it's a money line sport. We don't count money line sports for winning percentage. Yeah, yeah we do. Okay, because wins matter. There you go. The record matters. So <laughs> that all said, we are releasing a 5% play. Uh, just my third one of the baseball season. The last one actually got rained out, so we had a no play on it. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we're, we're in great shape right now, seeing the board really well. Go to wt.buzz slash MZ. We'll have the 5% play up here shortly, right after the show is posted. So go grab that. Jump in. Stay part of the winning. Let's have some Yes. Right there. That's how we're going to celebrate. Show is not over yet. I know that Tisha Sickles can the show. That's, that's still coming. Now, speaking <laughs> of show best bets, yesterday we did not win our show best bet. We came up, what was it, half a run short uh, on Orioles yes. Uh, Mets? Yes, half a run short. It was... Um, now, <laughs> if you listen to yesterday's show, it was on the Mets Orioles over. And, you know, we talked about your girl, the Hawk to a girl, throwing out the first yeah. pitch over the weekend at City Field. And we had a lot of fun with that. And, you know, I don't know if it's a trickle. Get this. I don't know if it's a trickle down effect from Joe Ranieri, okay? But everyone just loves to kick around old BP, don't they? You've turned on me. The great Dan Alexander's turned on me. And the comment section, you know, I'll read anything. I say, hey, positive, negative, please fire your comments. This is an actual comment on the show yesterday. BP would turn into Jason Biggs in American Pie with the Hawk to a girl and Fred. Now, let me say something right now, Mark Zinno. Okay, a lot of people here on this YouTube channel, they're going to get what? What? They're, no, they no. That I don't know if they have done that. That you know that that's their own business. But you know they'll sell you a lot of false bravado upon their chest. I'm going to tell you something right now, commenter. Who's this commenter again? Matt Crenshaw, okay? You're absolutely right. Okay, I wouldn't. Oh. I could barely last I could barely last 15 minutes on this show and Zitto does two thirds the talking. So there you go. Okay. Well, listen, there you go. Uh I, I found the comment enlightening. I appreciate those kind of comments. Uh feel free to jump in the comment section and take shots at BP or me if you want, you know, about not knowing about ROI, which is you know obviously shocking because I work at this sport. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I'm going to have to get a little nastier on the show. You know, I, I consciously present, it's like, this might be a dated reference. You know, I always present, it's like, I, you know, the version of myself, it's like the America's Funniest Home Videos version of Bob Saget that I like to present on the show. You know, Yeah, that's not good. You need to be a little bit more edgy. I mean, you see me in the comments with these folks? Go ahead. Yeah, Let's start yeah, mixing well, up. Yeah. Let's talk about our best bet. The people have waited long enough. <laughs> Uh, what is our show best bet, by the way? I've already forgotten. Oh, yes. Uh, I, it, yes. Is in the, it is in the Red Sox-Astros game, a yes. game that we talked about. We talked about the series opener yesterday. The Sox. Um, yes, the, don't ask push. me to order an Uber. Do not ask me to order an Uber in Boston. Uh, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, uh, yesterday we talked about the series opener. Uh, you did, as a matter of fact. It was a push in the first five. The Astros were, were real sloppy in the field, and that's why Kikuchi actually pitched well, but it was 2-2 two, two after five. They went out a walk-off. Boston, I think the, the public sentiment, Mark, will be there deflated after yesterday's loss. But we actually think they're going to come out strong again tonight, and we like them in the first five. Yeah, again, I, I think as much as Ronel Blanco's on the mound has been really good this year for the Astros, the numbers are almost eye-popping. A 2.89 ERA and a 1.01 whip. Um, and it makes you begin to wonder why he only has a nine and six record. Well, he's got a nine and six record because he's not getting a ton of run support uh, in his starts, but the Astros are winning them. So uh, I look at this spot here and think Nick Pavetta, who has been fantastic on the road this year, uh, better on the road than he has been at home, uh, is a great spot to jump on the Red Sox here early. 
you know, uh, the Astros have a really good bullpen, and I don't really want to get them involved here because it's one of those things, you know what I always say, guess what? If they ain't leading early, probably ain't leading late. That's kind of the case here for mm-hmm. the Red Sox. Nowhere near as good as uh, as the Houston Astros. So I think if they can get to Blanco early, again, we keep the tie in our back pocket. They get to Blanco early, push a couple across here. Pavetta can hold Houston down. Uh, I, I think we're in a favorable spot here, chasing a little, uh, you know, a little bit of underdog money here at a good price. So let's give us a uh, Red Sox first five money line. There you go. That's your show. Best bet. Comment down below with your favorite Major League Baseball bets for Tuesday. If you already haven't smashed that like button, why haven't you? My goodness, we have given you three free plays and a lot of laughs. Make sure you subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Easiest way to not miss any of this tremendous exclusive sports betting content. I do the Power Five. Now every day as well, Mark Zinno and I will be together again in just a scant uh, two hours on first pitch. Mark, I believe you're scheduled for wager talk today as well. So a busy morning in North Georgia. Way way too much me for one day. She can never have enough of me, apparently. Joe Ranieri has certainly had enough of us at this point. By the way, today's your last day to take advantage of that buy seven day special for $369. Sloppy parlay. I tried, but no one thinks I can do it. (laughs) 